Good morning. It was like, it's about 20 past five now. Um, just had hippos running outside the tent and making those pig-like noises, but <laughs> I was hoping I'd see one out here. But it's kind of, uh, you don't want to get in their way. It's, it's the river, or La, La Langue River, I mean the National Park. Just outside the National Park, actually. South Luangwe, which is, um, it's off season, it's been raining all night, raining heavily actually, uh, you can actually hear the hippos down there, it's quite close, we are uh, going out on a game drive in about um, half an hour, only 45 minutes, we going to go and get something to quick snack beforehand, bit of a bargain this place, um, has a pool and a bar and everything else, but there's only like three guests here, me and two English girls, and they're late 20s, early 30s, one of them works on one of those uh, rich people's mega, the Google guys, mega yacht, and the other one is uh, a web designer, she's been li living in Zambia with her sister for since Corona started, so about all I know about them. Yesterday was uh, <laughs> it was a long day. I, I'm still I'm still knackered from that flight. I didn't sleep for 30 hours, and I was like, by the time I finally organised something for this trip, and got into uh, it's beautiful out there this morning, and got into um, bedroom, went in my, into my like room. I was just watching a movie, and I just dropped the 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 phone on my face, so after that I thought, okay, I'll have, try and have a nap, so I slept for a little while, and then I wake up again, and I thought, well, I'd better try and stay awake for a while, and then about 8.30 I went to sleep, and I, I was out till 5 when the driver came to pick me up yesterday, um, by the time we, it was nine hours here, it's, it was, this place is, at this time of year, it's just beautiful, it's, it's green and you know, the, the countryside and the farming, it's like farms everywhere, small farms and stuff, but the countryside is broken up by, this is my tent, it's pretty nice, it's not as luxurious as the ones in Kenya and that, but it's cheaper as well, um, but uh, where was I, oh yeah, green and beautiful, no, no rubbish on the roads, and a lot less people that you find in some of the other African countries I've been to, so there's a lot less demand on the environment. Uh, so, um, yeah, nine hours we drove yesterday to get here. Um, I'm thinking that maybe I'll go the nine hours to get back because today, because uh, although the, um, the, the, oh, what is that? Big bug. The, um, the, Safari we did last night was started off a bit average, but then it got better. A couple of mating lions, which was pretty cool. Um, sit there doing what lions do, and um, then we saw a leopard. She was young, maybe two or three years old, beautiful, just wandering around. And we just following along behind her, and she went up a tree, and then we we went up to the tree and. Apparently she was hunting a, some sort of bird or something up in the tree because uh, she climbed up quite high up too. Went up quite far up and we had the light on her the whole time. And then she, this is at night, which is good. Most national parks in Africa don't allow night safaris. So I think they give you a few hours of darkness to have a look around. So you do see a few um, predators. I would have liked to have seen some wild dogs. It was my whole, it's no, my number one animal I want to see in this part of Africa is the, the wild hunting dogs. But we didn't see any of them um, last night, so hopefully this morning. So that's pretty much it. It's, it's, the sun isn't out yet. It's been, it was kind of cloudy, but you can see the, the river's beautiful there. I might just walk down there and see if I can see a hippo, although I'm not really supposed to go anywhere in the dark without a... Um, someone will guide me in case we run into something dodgy. But you see there, that's where the hippos come up. 
and there was one grunting outside my tent about two minutes ago. I was hoping to catch him, but uh, there's a lot of hippos here, and they they're, and they're constantly out of the water as well, which is surprising. You don't tend to see them out of the water during the day very often. At night, yes. And there were lots last night out out in the out on the um, floodplains. But yeah, this is off season. You don't you don't get a lot of. Uh, it's difficult to see things because the, the undergrowth is, is thick and green. But um, it's a bit like an Indian safari in that regard. But um, yeah, it's cool so far. Very cool. So I'm about to go and get some tea and coffee and stuff, and then. Once that's done, we'll, we'll be going out. I'm hoping the rain holds off now. I'm going to take an umbrella with me, but it'd be pretty miserable out there in the rain because it was really thick last night. I got eaten by mozzies last night as well. Um, yeah, I saw, also saw some little, um, quite a few of them along the riverbank. There's uh, uh, water monsters. They're quite cute. They're not big. They're quite cute. Anyway, I'm going to go and uh, finish. I've got a mozzie bite in my face. I go and finish what I'm doing and then head over and grab some breakfast. Yeah. Okay. Ciao for now.